Hi! <laughs> this is so weird because I am recording a video right now, obviously, and I'm doing it while my boyfriend <laughs> is out with Gunvald, so he will be coming back when I'm not done, I think. And yeah, it just feels very awkward if he's going to hear me. <laughs> but yeah, we have to power through. And um, today I have failed <laughs> because uh, I'm doing a collab with Debbie again. Um, uh, I did a collab with her like... I don't put up a lot of videos, so it's probably like two months ago or something uh, about palettes and I love her palette collection and it's so fun to do collab with you know her because she has a lot of fun palettes and uh, if you haven't watched Debbie's videos you have to she's amazing she does amazing looks she's super kind I, I just it makes me so happy to watch her videos and her collection videos and palette videos are the best um but anyway <laughs> you have to go subscribe she's always linked down below but now she's you know on top here so you can go watch her and today we're doing a video uh part two you can say um about palettes that we love the packaging of uh, and it was really hard because there are palettes i bought only for the packaging and palettes i love you know either way and different kinds of it, it was hard for me to pick and we said that we should take around 10 i have 19 here <laughs> and that bothers me because then i feel like i should have 20 but i think i know what i'm going to say for the 20 but yeah this was really hard because i i'm a packaging whore <laughs> oh are you allowed to say that I don't know, but I have taken out a lot of palettes anyway, and that is also annoying because now I have to put them back. Maybe I shouldn't take this because this is not a palette. No, I'm not going to take this because it's not a palette. Then I have 18. I can live with 18. Yeah, and obviously I can't take out all the packaging I like, and like I said, I like a lot, uh, but I've tried to take pieces here and there and it's both eyeshadow palettes and some face palettes i think more don't i have an yeah i have at least one uh, that is not an eyeshadow palette but yeah so and i'm not going to rank them because no and yeah yeah okay let's let's start i just have to dig in uh first of all i can say that i love of course normal palettes with pretty packaging but i also love when it's a different kind of packaging you know the ones that people hate that are bulky or or have a different shape and i was going to include like all the jeffree star palettes because i really love them but i just i just felt like no and i have to go with my feeling so i i like you know alien palette and the the royal oh no that's not the royal what's it called royal blood or why do I call it royal blood? It's called bloodlust. Why do I call it royal blood? That's what it should be called. Okay. But yeah, never mind. I like his packaging, but I have not included it. But for that reason, I picked this. And I love Glam Lights, all of their packaging. You know, the pizza, the hamburger, the taco, the cake. But I just took out one of these to show you. And I think it's so fun. This is... You know the pizza slice and this is the veggie lover so you know you do like this and i haven't used this yet can you see this is oh i love the color story of this one i have to use this maybe i should keep this out so i can use it because those greens and that mustard yellow mm. but yeah i i just love these types of packaging and i don't care that it's hard to store because i think they are fun and I just love them. I'm not going to say more than that because we will be here forever. Then I have two normal palettes, but I love the front of it, except that mine are crooked. I don't know if all people have crooked ones. Can you please say if you have? But it's the Melt um, 
palettes that were limited edition. This is the Vida en Muerte palettes. I just, I just love skulls. I love color. I love, you know, everything about these. Um, but mine are, so they are not straight like this. They are more like that. So they are, if you can see, like that. That, that's freaking annoying and if you want to see how they are I've used the Vida palette once I think and I've only used these shades and I hate that shade which I know a lot of people do so it wasn't fair of me to judge it by that but uh, I have to use this more I really love it it's so sad that that green is terrible and then I don't think I've used the Muerte palette no, it doesn't look like it, but it's also so cool and pretty and everything. You have seen these already. That doesn't look as green in the, view, the viewfinder. I don't have a viewfinder, but in the camera as it is. But yeah. Oh no. This smell like... Um... Oh, what's that called? When you're in a house... We have been looking at houses, so that's why I'm thinking of that. But when there are, um... oh, what's that called in English? Well, I fucked skador. When there there is water and moist and stuff that makes it, you know, bad. This smells like that. I hope this doesn't get moldy. Yeah, mold. It's called mold. Mold. What is it that sounds? Yeah, never mind. But yeah, these ones I love. I should have planned this better. I'm going to record my haul, but I, mm, yeah, okay. Um, and then I have this. I'm not going to use it because I have bought it um, from someone else um, on a Swedish auction site. But I just wanted this because of the front. And it's the Sugar Pill Edward Scissorhands palette. Uh, I love this. Uh, I love Tim Burton. He's my favorite director. And I love Edward Scissorhands. And this is a 25, 25th anniversary palette. And I wasn't into makeup or I didn't know when this came out. I've seen it afterwards. And I've heard it's terrible. But I, I don't care, you know. I'm not going to use it because these shades are really old and used and they look like they are not good anymore if we say it like that and yeah but I just mm, it's it's so pretty I think this is what it looks on the back and I just I love it I will always keep this and for the same reason I love this front I'm taking normal palettes first this is the LA Splash classic horror I love horror movies and I love the classic horror movies and this is this is fun because it's with women instead and it looks like that on the back you know it's, so it's Dracula Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde uh, Frankenstein um, the creature from the Black Lagoon yeah it's different ones and they are they are so cool that and like that and it looks like this i have used this in two videos and i didn't like it the first time but then the second time i really liked it and it it has really unique shades like the green and the blues are not the same that is usually in the pa rainbow palettes and you can see now it's going to be a mirror there but you can see the print is on the inside as well oh i gotta love it and on the same note, <laughs> uh, I have this from Lunatic Cosmetics Labs. This is, uh, I also have the El Elvira, the Mistress of Dark, Mistress of, now I can't remember, but I have all of these palettes, but this one is my favorite. It's the Vampira one. I haven't used this, I think maybe once but it looks like this on the inside and it's inspired by the actress you know it's really cool and i love the packaging style and i love that she's on the front and i i just love it i think it's really cool and while we're at that i can take this palette as well this is the first face palette i have two or both from lunatic cosmetics labs this is the, the contour palette it looks like a book because um, 
it's called the book of shadows or something isn't it it doesn't say I think it's called no it's called something but I can't remember but you can see there is like a clasp there and it's it's really cool and this is a contour book but I don't use it as that because there isn't a shade actually that is very good and this is the lightest one the darker doesn't fit either um these shades are too dark and too gray for me but if they work fine as eyeshadows and um, yeah this is very expensive though it's mm, I like it and it's like can you see here the print oh I love it Mm. what should we take next let's take this this is one of if it is not the first it's one of the first two face palettes i bought and i bought it only for the packaging uh, i love the packaging look it's cakes what are they called macarons macarons i don't know what you were calling it probably the same it's called sugar pop and it has those that print all over and it looks like I have used this a couple of times actually it's okay it's nothing fancy I love that shade of course and the orange one that one uh, but I I just mm, I think it's I love it when it's food you know food now I'm thirsty it's warm in here And then a lot of Tarte palettes I have bought for the packaging, if not all of them, but especially this. This is a pineapple palette. I don't know. What is this called? Yeah, I can't remember, but it's called something something pineapple. But it looks like this. It's from a Christmas collection. I have not used this, I think, or maybe. I don't know. But it's like you have these here. Oh, it smells wonderful. <laughs> and then you can flip it over and you have the eyeshadows. Sorry, I'm blinding you. But it's a normal Tarte palette. It smells wonderful. But this actually looks more colorful than you would expect it doesn't look like it but it really is actually i really like it i remember I w this is the first time i think i talked to paulina because i talked about the pineapple palette and mm, i have another pineapple palette but i thought you know you can't pick them all and then this this is something i bought for the package <laughs> Uh, I haven't used it and I know a lot of people hate it but yeah this is the pure and Dr. Seuss I don't know the Grinch we don't talk about that character here good enough to steal it looks like this and you do like this wait or doesn't you yeah look so it's like this and it says the Grinch small heart grew three sizes that day and then you take out this and there was a um, green lipstick that turned pink you know and two glitters and yeah I used some of these shades they are okay but I just I think this is so fun and I know so many people hate this. I wish I had Urban Decay, Alice in Wonderland and Alice through the Looking Glass and whatever they are called. But yeah, Sweden. But yeah, so it looks like that. I like this. Don't hate me. Now I'm almost done with this pile. So let's do like this. Then in that theme, Game of Thrones, Urban Decay Game of Thrones. I love Game of Thrones. I have talked about that before. I usually don't like fantasy and that type of genre. But I love Game of Thrones. And I'm one of the few that actually think it ended okay. But this is the Game of Thrones palette anyway. And it looks like, you know, you open it and there is a quote. 
um, and you open it up and it's the Iron Throne I think that is so cool and then there is a quote here this, it says here Lannister, Targaryen, Baratheon, Stark, Tyrell they're all just spokes on a wheel this one's on top then that one's on top and on and on it spins crushing those on the ground and it's from Daenerys and the one here is from Tyrion never forget what you are the rest of the world will not wear it like armor and it can never be used to hurt you and then you take out the eyeshadows and you can take it all the way out it looks like that and it's organized uh, like uh, this is Targaryen, Lannister, Stark, and this is Nightwalker. That's not what they're called. White Walker! Oh my god! <laughs> this I have used once in a palette uh, thing with um, uh, Linda and Molin. And there is only three mats. But some satins but yeah i liked it i love urban decay i think this is fine could they have done better yes but i'm pleased yeah it just looks like that so it looks like you know a book i'm sorry i'm taking too long with this like that and now we have the last ones let's do like that then we have this annoys me because I can't get the second one because Sweden uh, but this is the sugar pill capsule collection I, I, I just freaking love this packaging I have not had time to use this yet but oh my god I think it's so pretty and I just think this packaging is so much fun I love it I, I hate that I can't get the second one it, it hurts my soul because there will probably be more and I then maybe I can get them then I won't have the second one and okay it, it hurts my soul but I love that and then we have a Too Faced palette that I don't think a lot of people like um, not the packaging anyway I love the packaging and I think the inside is okay and it's better than you think and it's the Too Faced Life's a Festival palette. This this is everything, you know. It's a rainbow and it's a unicorn. And I just love rainbows and unicorns and mermaids and whatever. And it looks like that. And these are mostly topper shades, but some really cool uh, duochromes. And I think there's only two mattes. Uh, but it's really good, actually. You can see the duochrome in that one. It's really good actually and I love this because this is like a bit squishy but not too much I think it's cool and it's holographic here this usually is somewhere uh, there it usually is. there is also a fun packaging over there then we have this, and I hate that I, I have the two first ones of these, but I don't have the Mean Girls one. This is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory from Storybook Cosmetics. I have a love-hate relationship with them, because they never release anything. But I also have... Don't... don't Are you going to fall? Yes, I'm not taking it out. I have the Wizardry and Witchcraft book as well. But I love the concept of the book. You know, I, I don't like that you can, you know... It's not a strong magnet, so you can move this around a bit, but yeah. This is, like I said, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and it looks like that. And these are really pretty, pretty okay, these shades. And I know a lot of people don't like it because it's bulky, but I like it. Um, How do you say that in English? Yeah, never mind, but it's... It's pretty. I love the concept. It's pretty here. Oh, I can put that back by the way. Nice. Then we have another Tarte palette. And this one looks like, you know, Revolution uh, released a lot of these palettes. But this one was first, actually. It looks like that. 
it's called foil finger paints so it's cream shadows and you can see how much i have used them but they are really cool actually oh i'm hungry oh, i just took a little bit and you can see it's really creamy i don't know why i did that stupid don't swatch anything but look at that or oh, i have to use it that was not easy i don't but it's it's i love it rainforest of the sea it's pretty it's you know it, it's raised i just love looking at this oh, i think it's so pretty i'm going to save that for last i have three palettes left this one i have three more there was released a fourth one but i couldn't get that because they didn't come to sway down uh but it's it was available on their website uh, lime crime but yeah and this is the lime crime uh, pocket candy ones this looked like poly pocket and i loved poly pocket when i was a child uh, i'm born 86 so i i had a lot of poly pockets and it looks like that and there is uh, i have the uh, blue and the yellow one as well it sounded like they came but no there are five shades in e each they are not very good when you're swatching them i think i've used one of them was it the yellow one it was okay but i have to use them more they are really tightly pressed so you won't get a lot of payoff when you're doing like that anyway but I, I just had to have them because, you know, they look like Polly Pockets. Polly Pocket! Pocket candy. Look. So cool! And you just like stupid. Then we have one that I think I had in my other palette video. I think that was called, you know, a limited edition palettes that we're glad that we have. And this is the Kat Von D Sinner and Saint palette. Uh, I, I think this packaging is so amazing. I love the goth, goth theme and yeah, it's a cathedral. God, that was hard to say. And like most of you know, I don't know, can I do like that? Look, oh, you can see my arm. I think it's so pretty. I've used this too little. I should have this here as well. Okay, why? But this is just like everything. And the last one, which is one of the prettiest packagings ever. And it's, I, I don't know, if you have been here, you probably know which I'm going to take. And I'm so afraid that I have missed someone, some obvious palettes but that that's life but this is the lunar beauty moon spell palette i love the mystic theme the book theme it's not too big it's sturdy it's just so freaking pretty even though there is a spider and a snake it really looks like a book and the packaging that you got i have saved and uh, that you have got on the outside <laughs> was really pretty as well and this one looks like that and i love that the names are um, from witches from different tv series like charm that i watched prue piper phoebe and page and sabrina and you know mm, mm, hermione there is a lot it's fun and they are really pretty i have to use this more i have used I think I used the bottom now. I don't know. Now I feel like doing my makeup, but we don't have time because we're going away and I'm so sweaty. <laughs> but yeah, that was the palettes I have picked. And I will probably regret not taking some palettes. I love the chocolate palettes, you know. I love all different kinds of palettes. And I have normal palettes like the Nomad Harajuku palette. And, you know, Baby Bat. And uh, some from Bombshell Cosmetica. And some from Peachy Queen. And 
you know the blush try ones and the uvias i'm just looking at I'm, i think palettes are really pretty kaleidos but i can show you all of them and that's why i have a lot of them <laughs> as a display objects or all of them uh you know from menager and everything i i'm a i just love packaging <laughs> and uh yeah so this was really hard i think this is one of the coolest packagings i have probably not only oh there is smashbox as well and seattle have some really cool color pop i'm just looking around and i'm like yeah yeah <laughs> the balm has really cool packaging yeah you get the picture i will probably record my haul soon i hope but i'm not going to stress it um and please go watch Debbie. I'm so excited to see um, which palette she has taken and how many she has because I don't think she will have 10 either. So uh, now I'm going to put all these back again. Um, and I actually recorded this. He must be on a long walk because I have been recording for 26 minutes and he's not back yet. That's really weird. Should I record my haul? Oh, do you know what I bought? Uh, you know the Jacqueline Hill set, the big one. I really love, I use those brushes all the time, especially the face brushes. Um, it usually costs around $200 and it's worth over $300. And now they had a sale on it again for 40%. So it was $111, so I bought it again. But I really like the brushes. Oh, they came. Hey. 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 Jag ska precis avsluta. Ja, oh. yeah. uh, Now I'm wrapping it up because now they came. And now I feel awkward. Uh, yeah. So go watch Debbie. And. Hey, Gummal. Ska du vara med i videon? Hey. No, it went away. Bye. Go watch TV. Have a nice day. Thank you for being here. Bye.